Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go take a look in the fridge and see what we're going to drink today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is from Terrapin. Uh, may look a little familiar. This is, uh, this is a, a coffee oatmeal imperial stout, which I have reviewed already from them. But they have changed the name now, and, and instead of just being a coffee oatmeal stout, they're calling it WNB. It's got that on the label here, which is, from what I understand, is for wake and bake. So, uh... I don't know what else they've changed in the beer other than just the label. It is a stout with coffee added coming in at 8.1% so it's a little on the stronger side. I have had the other version so I don't know if they've changed the, the, the beer itself or just the label. So my beer guy up at uh, Vintage Cellar when I went in he asked if I tried this and I said not the waking bank but I have had the coffee, uh, oatmeal coffee. So I went ahead and got, got one just to make sure there wasn't anything changed or different. We're going to reveal it again, so if it's the same, it's the same, just a different label, but uh, I kind of like the coffee stouts, and it's about 20 degrees outside, so it's a good time for one, so we're going to do it again. So here we go. Uh, this is brewed by the Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. It is an American Double Imperial Stout, like I said, coming in at 8.1%. It is a winter serving, according to what I have. The food pairings, the cheeses, would be the buttery, the brie, the gouda, Havarti. It is a chocolate uh, dessert-type beer, so it, you know, it's going to go accordingly with most of your stouts, uh, uh, stout uh, cuisines. So the beef, they say, is smoked meat and game and grilled meat. Uh, the glass today, I'm going to use a double glass. Uh, you could use the pint, the becker, the mug, oversized wine, uh, just about the snifter, just about uh, anything that's going to enhance the aromas of the, of the, of the beer or the pint glass. Uh, the beer can be uh, salad, contented cellaring because it's uh, 8%, so it'll keep a little bit. So let's bust the cap on this thing. Oh, yeah, that smells familiar. That is like 60 weight motor oil poured in there. Well, I liked it the last time I reviewed it. Let's see if it's going to be the same thing. It is a very dark. There is no tinges of any light coming through the glass. It poured about a three quarter finger of head, which is going away pretty quick. It is a very chocolate looking head. Very dark, uh, dark creamy head there. Very impressive. The bubbles are really small on the on the head there. They're they're very small. I can smell the coffee from here. Well, and that, and that smells like a strong coffee. If you like your coffee with cream and sugar, you might not like this because this smells like black coffee espresso straight up. <laughs> wow, this coffee, coffee on top of coffee. If you don't like coffee, you won't like this. This is a coffee, oatmeal imperial coffee stout. I don't smell the oatmeal. All I smell is coffee. Let's give it a taste. Strong coffee. Not alcohol strong, but coffee strong. Yeah, just definitely like an espresso here. That is just, that is, as far as this coffee taste, it has got a strong, bitter coffee. Not to the bittering point where it's like a hot bitterness, but it's a coffee bitterness. It's, uh, it's hard to explain, though. It's like uh, it's like a bitter coffee. It, it really is, but it's not so bitter. Where you know it's uh, it's 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 fairly decent. I, I 
I'm gonna have to say it's it's more than fairly decent. It's an above average beer because I love coffee stouts. I try to be fair with most of these beers and stuff, but I like this one a lot. And I'll be honest with you, it's it's an incredible above average beer. It's it's going it's going to it's going to get a good grade, I'm sure of it. So I'm gonna let it warm up and I'm gonna sip on it and try not to do any edit, editing fapoos. Uh, I've had a couple of the last couple of weeks that uh, the tables collapsed on me just about, and other couple of things have happened. So. Uh, Hopefully this one will come out of us a little bit better. So stick around and we're going to do the final chug and the gray here shortly. And It's looking good for this one. Uh, it's, it's a pretty tasty beer. I, I could drink one of these uh, at least every other day, if not the last beer of the day. So stick around and be right back. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. I've got just a little left in the glass here. I've been sipping on it about 30 minutes or so. This is very strong coffee, not strong alcohol, but it's 8% 8, 8 alcohol, but you really don't get the alcohol. You get the black coffee. I mean, this is like espresso, high test coffee. If you don't like coffee, if you don't like strong coffee, you may not even like this. This is a strong coffee beer. I can't emphasize that enough. I also got uh, the uh, the grading scale here. I'm going to, I'm going to, Put, start putting this on there. I'm going to go over this with you real quick before I do the final chug. A lot of the people have been asking me what this grade means and what's that grade mean. Because I originally started off on a 1 to 100 scale and narrowed it down to 1 to 10. And still nobody knows what the 1 to 10 scale means as far as what I, the way I do it. So I'm going to start posting this at every review so you'll know if I give it a 5, what a 5 means. If I give it a 7, what a 7 means. But I'm going to go over it real quick. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 is going to be an A+, plus, above average, uh, colossal, world premiere. I've not found a 10 yet. Uh, I mean, everything <laughs> everything has been an A or below. No A pluses. I'm still searching for that A+. Plus, but they're out there. And, and to be honest with you, I've probably got 4 or 5 that are A pluses. But I just don't want to put them up on that plateau yet. So the, the 10 is going to be the A+, plus, the 9 is going to be an A, the 8 is an A-, minus, 7 is a B+, plus, the 6 is a B, the 5 is a B-, minus, 4 is a C, 3 is a D, 2 is an F, and 1 is undrinkable. We're going to pour it down the damn drain. So that's how the scale is going to be from here on out. So And I'll post this with the reviews, So and the scale is going to be accordingly. So, so if, I, if I'm giving it a B-, minus, it's going to end up being a 5. And that's not bad. I mean, some people say a five out of ten. That's 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 you know, so. This is the way I'm gonna do my beer. So, give me some comments, some feedback, and if you I, I don't like that, I, I like it. Or let's see where it goes. And like I said, I'm gonna post this with each of the each of the reviews. So let's see how it goes. Final chug. Coffee, coffee, coffee. All I like to say about this one. This is the strongest coffee taste of any of the coffee stouts that I've ever tasted. If it wasn't for the 8%, you could drink this for breakfast, but wow, it is coffee. It is really coffee, coffee. Roasted malt, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I can't emphasize it enough. It's, this is all about coffee on this beer. So, Guys, I'm going to give this beer, I'm going to give this beer an 8 which is an A-. minus. I like a coffee stout. Uh, it may not be your cup of tea if you don't like coffee stouts or coffee period. Because this is basically coffee, coffee. Uh, the uh, the scale from Beer Advocate, they gave it an A- minus on this. And Rake Beer gives it a 99 overall and an 84 in the style. So, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good ratings from both places. So, uh, and I agree with that. It's it's an A beer, but it's if you don't like the coffee, it may be a, a D beer. Because <laughs> it's definitely all about coffee on this beer. So if you've had it, let me know. Like I said, I've reviewed this once before when it was just the oatmeal coffee stout. Seems like it's got a little more coffee in it than it had the last time. So I'm gonna go down and check the one of the other fridges and see if I got another one of these and I think that's just a little stronger. It might be just fresher. So, guys, always rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've had it, what you think. And as always, we'll see you on the next beer review.